CompTIA CASP CAS003 exam dumps updated today. New CAS003 dumps are more accurate to ensure that you can pass CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner CASP exam successfully. Read CAS003 free demo questions online now. Question number one. A security incident responder discovers an attacker has gained access to a network and has overwritten key system files with backdoor software. The server was re-imaged and patched offline. Which of the following tools should be implemented to detect similar attacks? A. Vulnerability Scanner B. TPM C. Host-based firewall D. File integrity monitor E. NIPS Answer, C. Question number 2. A company has hired an external security consultant to conduct a thorough review of all aspects of corporate security. The company is particularly concerned about unauthorized access to its physical offices resulting in network compromises. Which of the following should the consultant recommend be performed to evaluate potential risks? A. The consultant should attempt to gain access to physical offices through social engineering and then attempt data exfiltration. B. The consultant should be granted access to all physical access control systems to review logs and evaluate the likelihood of the threat. C. The company should conduct internal audits of access logs and employee social media feeds to identify potential insider threats. D. The company should install a temporary CCTV system to detect unauthorized access to physical offices. Answer, A. Question number 3. To prepare for an upcoming audit, the Chief Information Security Officer CISO, asks for all 1200 vulnerabilities on production servers to be remediated. The security engineer must determine which vulnerabilities represent real threats that can be exploited so resources can be prioritized to migrate the most dangerous risks. The CISO wants the security engineer to act in the same manner as would an external threat, while using vulnerability scan results to prioritize any actions. Which of the following approaches is described? A. Blue Team B. Red Team C. Black Box D. White Team Answer, C. Question number 4. A recent penetration test identified that a web server has a major vulnerability. The web server hosts a critical shipping application for the company and requires 99.99% .99 availability. Attempts to fix the vulnerability would likely break the application. The shipping application is due to be replaced in the next three months. Which of the following would best secure the web server until the replacement web server is ready? A. Patch management B. Antivirus C. Application firewall D. Spam filters E. HIDS Answer, E. Question number 5. An organization has employed the services of an auditing firm to perform a gap assessment in preparation for an upcoming audit. 
As part of the GAAP assessment, the auditor supporting the assessment recommends the organization engage with other industry partners to share information about emerging attacks to organizations in the industry in which the organization functions. Which of the following types of information could be drawn from such participation? A. Threat modeling B. Risk assessment C. Vulnerability data D. Threat intelligence E. Risk metrics F. Exploit frameworks Answer, F. Question number 6 During a security assessment, an organization is advised of inadequate control over network segmentation. The assessor explains that the organization's reliance on VLANs to segment traffic is insufficient to provide segmentation based on regulatory standards. Which of the following should the organization consider implementing along with VLANs to provide a greater level of segmentation? A. Air gaps B. Access control lists C. Spanning tree protocol D. Network virtualization E. Elastic load balancing Answer, D. Question number 7. A systems security engineer is assisting an organization's market survey team in reviewing requirements for an upcoming acquisition of mobile devices. The engineer expresses concerns to the survey team about a particular class of devices that uses a separate SOC for baseband radio I.O. For which of the following reasons is the engineer concerned? A. These devices can communicate over networks older than HSPA Plus and LTE standards, exposing device communications to poor encryptions routines. B. The organization will be unable to restrict the use of NFC, electromagnetic induction, and Bluetooth technologies. C. The associated firmware is more likely to remain out of date and potentially vulnerable. D. The manufacturers of the baseband radios are unable to enforce mandatory access controls within their driver set. Answer, B. Question number 8. A security engineer is designing a system in which offshore, outsourced staff can push code from the development environment to the production environment securely. The security engineer is concerned with data loss, while the business does not want to slow down its development process. Which of the following solutions best balances security requirements with business need? A. Set up a VDI environment that prevents copying and pasting to the local workstations of outsourced staff members. B. Install a client-side VPN on the staff laptops and limit access to the development network. C. Create an IPSEC VPN tunnel from the development network to the office of the outsourced staff. D. Use online collaboration tools to initiate workstation sharing sessions with local staff who have access to the development network. Answer, D. Question number 9. A penetration tester has been contracted to conduct a physical assessment of a site. Which of the following is the most plausible method of social engineering to be conducted during this engagement? A. Randomly calling customer employees and posing as a help desk technician requiring user password to resolve issues. 
B. Posing as a copier service technician and indicating the equipment had phoned home to alert the technician for a service call. C. Simulating an illness while at a client location for a sales call and then recovering once listening devices are installed. D. Obtaining fake government credentials and impersonating law enforcement to gain access to a company facility. Answer, A. Question number 10. A company has entered into a business agreement with a business partner for managed human resources services. The Chief Information Security Officer CISO, has been asked to provide documentation that is required to set up a business-to-business -business VPN between the two organizations. Which of the following is required in this scenario? A. ESA B. BIA C. SLA D. RA Answer, C. Question number 11. An SQL database is no longer accessible online due to a recent security breach. An investigation reveals that unauthorized access to the database was possible due to an SQL injection vulnerability. To prevent this type of breach in the future, which of the following security controls should be put in place before bringing the database back online? Choose 2 A. Secure storage policies B. Browser security updates C. Input validation D. Web application firewall E. Secure coding standards F. Database Activity Monitoring Answer, CF Question number 12 A security analyst is reviewing the corporate MDM settings and notices some disabled settings, which consequently permit users to download programs from untrusted developers and manually install them. After some conversations, it is confirmed that these settings were disabled to support the internal development of mobile applications. The security analyst is now recommending that developers and testers have a separate device profile allowing this, and that the rest of the organization's users do not have the ability to manually download and install untrusted applications. Which of the following settings should be toggled to achieve the goal? Choose 2 A. OTA updates B. Remote wiping C. Side loading D. Sandboxing E. Containerization F. Signed applications Answer, E. F.